Hi, Kelsey here. Today we are going to work in Design Space to make a larger than the matte Mickey. This will work with really any SVG or character that you want to work with. So you can extend the size past just that 12 by 12 or 12 by 24 matte. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started in Design Space. As you can see, I already uploaded my SVG, and so now I'm going to change the size. I'm going to work by height, and I'm going to change it to 24 inches. So this is a big project, and as you can see over on the side where it says Mickey 2, there is a warning sign saying basically that this project is bigger than the mats, and it's not formatted to cut, so it won't work. So you're going to go ahead and grab some shapes. So I like to do a square and we're gonna change it to a rectangle. So you're gonna unlock it so that we can change the height and the width. And I'm gonna make mine eight and a half by 11, but you should make it a little bit smaller. So eight by 10 and a half, or if you're doing 12 by 12, which I make on here, you should make it 11 and a half by 11 and a half. I left mine 12 by 12 because I didn't end up using it. I'm changing my shapes to these sizes because those are standard sizes in the US. So I'm using these standard sizes to pretend this is my paper. So this is what I'm maxing out my space with. So because I'm using eight and a half by 11 paper, I'm gonna use that top rectangle to slice out all of my objects. So when we do a larger than the mat project, you're slicing to basically make a puzzle. So as you can see, there's still those warning signs off to the side. You can even see the warning side with the 12 by 12 because it's not going to cut. So like I said, you're gonna have to adjust that square to 11 and a half by 11 and a half if you're going to be using 12 by 12 paper because the max on that mat is going to be the 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So we're gonna go ahead and ungroup our Mickey. So you're gonna hit ungroup and now you'll see some of these are, are formatted. They're going to be able to cut maybe on a 12 by 20 format, but because I'm working with eight and a half by 11 paper, I'm actually going to duplicate mine and contour. You can also use the slice feature where you put it over that piece of paper and slice, but if you duplicate and contour, it's the same thing. So I'm just hiding one shoe, and then I'm gonna place it right back over where the other shoe is, I'm gonna click on the other one that I duplicated and I'm gonna hide that shoe we just covered. And so now, when we go to do it, you're gonna look and see that I have two separate shoes. I missed one piece here, so I have to go back in and contour it. The contour feature on Cricut can be a little confusing, but now I have two separate shoes and if you look at the size of those, it's 7.3 and four, so that's definitely gonna fit on my eight and a half by 11 paper. So we're gonna do the same thing. Let's look at our red and see what size it is. Look at the hands and see what size it is. So I have everything connected in this SVG. It will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of paper, which is fantastic. So if I have a white piece of paper that's 12 by 12, I can easily just use it on there. But I want to be able to save space so I'm actually going to slice out those buttons from his pants. It doesn't matter which piece of paper I'm going to use because they're smaller than that anyway. So I use the slice function, I put it over the two buttons and I'm gonna move it to the back. I'm just duplicating it so I don't have to make a new one. And now we see that those buttons are lined up over that eight and a half by 11 piece of paper or eight by 10 and a half piece of paper. And now I'm gonna slice those out. So I can delete that gray rectangle. Now my buttons are separate and I can delete the gray buttons as well. I don't need those. So now this is sliced. So when I go to send it to my maker, I'm missing the back piece, I know. But when I go to send it to my maker, I can move those buttons around so I can use less space on my piece of paper and on my mat. So now it'll fit on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. All right, so the last piece that we have to do, because this is already the right size, is the body of Mickey. 
So he is 24 inches tall. So obviously, if we had a 24 inch mat and it was skinnier, we could probably fit this at like 23 inches. But that's not the case. I only have 12 by 12 mats. And I'm just going to show you if you were using 12 by 12 paper, it says 11.5 by 11.5. That's your max. And you're just going to go over and we're going to slice. But I'm using 8.5 by 11 paper. So I'm going to use my smaller rectangle. And I'm going to duplicate it about six times to cover that Mickey. So you're duplicating it until it's covered. And I like to duplicate first and cover the entire SVG background or whatever you're slicing before I go ahead and slice everything. Because as you see, his tail is super skinny. So I don't want to break that up into multiple pieces. I want to keep that all on one sheet. So we're going to continue to duplicate until we cover the entire background SVG of the SVG and then we'll do our slicing. All right, I'm gonna move my Mickey um, silhouette to the front and now we can start our slicing. So I'm gonna grab one rectangle, I'm gonna grab the Mickey silhouette, I'm gonna hit slice down in the bottom right-hand corner. It takes a second to go through and now you can delete all of those gray pieces you just sliced. Keep the black piece because that's what you need for your final project. Now we have that bigger sliced Mickey, and so we're gonna do the same thing with all of the rectangles. So we have five left. So you slice, and then you delete the gray pieces that were sliced. Don't delete your black pieces like I just did because that's the piece that you need. So I went ahead and changed my background to purple instead of gray so we could see it a little bit better and I finished my slicing. So now I have all these individual pieces for the background of my Mickey that is 24 inches. So as you can see, I have six sliced pieces, and when I send it to my maker, it says 12 by 12, but they will fit on an eight and a half by 11 because that's what I sliced it to. So we are ready to send this out and cut it. It worked out perfectly. It's ready to be assembled. So now I'm going to assemble my Mickey. This is a lot easier than you think. Just pull up your SVG file, have it in front of you on your computer, your iPad, your phone, whatever it is, so that you can see where the pieces are. And you're assembling backwards. So you just want to make sure that you basically just mirror it um, either on your computer or just look at it and be able to mirror it by eye. And then I like to use painter's tape they sell it in all different colors. I just happen to have mine in blue. In my opinion, it doesn't matter. It's the back of the project, so no one's going to see it. You can always reinforce this with um, some poster board, like the thick styrofoam poster board from the dollar store, uh, and then use an X-Acto knife to cut around so that's a little bit thicker. But just for this purpose, I'm going to use my painter's tape I'm lining up my different puzzle pieces and then I'm taping them as close together as possible. For a lot of this project, you're going to be putting other pieces on top of the black. So you're not gonna see as much as it's here. So don't worry about if there's a little bit of gap, but do try to get those as close as possible. And now I'm just going to put on my pieces. So if you see, you can't really see my painter's tape through the back. I covered up those slices as close as possible. And now I'm going to puzzle piece all of my large cutouts together. And what's great about these, because we contoured and we sliced where we needed to, there are no lines on any of these. This SVG happened to be easy to contour, so we're not cutting down the middle of anything. So if you're beginning at this, I suggest something like this where you can contour out different pieces so that it's easy to work with and you're not lining up the pieces on top. I'm just using craft glue to glue everything down. I'm using Barely Arts and I will leave a link down below with 10% off for their glue. So everything's just lining up. I'm double checking it, moving things around, and then securing it down. And that is how you assemble a larger than the mat project, an off the mat project. 
These are super fun to make and great for kids' parties. If you're going to make them for a party, again, I kind of suggest reinforcing it on the back. I hung some of these up for Christmas and I didn't reinforce the back and they looked great. You can do this with any SVG and make it larger than the mat. And now you know how to. We have a 24 inch Mickey and I can't wait to see what you create. Thank you so much for watching and joining me today. I hope this video helps you make some really awesome projects. Don't forget to subscribe. Happy crafting.